let us study about the multiple sub multiples and symbols of the unit see let's suppose if i say you have to measure the length of the table so you might say uh, it's the length of the table is let's say one meter i say okay measure the breadth of the table you say breadth of the table is 500 centimeter or you can say 0.5 meter right now in this what happens that you can measure the small lengths into meter now if i say that find out the you know or distance between delhi to chennai Now it's about one, two, three, four, five, six, right? Meter. Now can you I mean like is it feasible to say it's like twenty lakh meter? No. Now what we do if we want to cover some long distance and we need to find out the long you know a length, what we do? we convert meters into kilometers right zero 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 divide by thousand it's like two thousand kilometers uh, is the distance between delhi uh, delhi to chennai now see when you are converting the standard unit into smaller amount number then it is a fraction or sub multiple whereas if you have, will ask you to say convert one meter into centimeter so one meter into hundred is one hundred centimeter so this is known as the multiples what are the multiples see multiples of standard units are used to make large measurements now if i say convert 20 kilometer into meters what you do 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meters so 20 kilometer will be equal to 20 into 1000 is 20,000 meter so this is known as multiple now fractions or you can say them as sub multiples it's same now, fractions are sub multiples see now they are used to make small measurements right like if i ask you to convert 20000 meter into kilometers now what you will do 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meter so 1 meter will be equal to 1 by 1000 kilometer so 20,000 meter will be equal to 20,000 divided by 1000 so just 20 kilometers so this is a type of you can say a sub multiple or fractions now let's take here length the units that are used to measure length then the units that are used to measure mass and the units that are used to measure time right now in this what we see that your 10 millimeter that is mm is equal to 1 centimeter i hope you all might have learned this already then 100 centimeter 
is equal to 1 meter. Then 1000 meters is equal to 1 kilometer. This is about the length in meters or kilometers. Then comes the mass. 1000 milligram that is mg is equal to 1 gram. Then 1000 grams is equal to 1 kilogram. Then your 100 kilograms means kg is equal to 1 quintal. Then your 10 quintal is equal to 1 metric ton. Right? If I say time, then 60 seconds is equal to 1 minute. Sixty minutes is equal to one hour. Twenty four hours is equal to one day. One three six five days is equal to one year. Ten years is equal to one decade. Right. Now these are some of the various standard units for the measurement of length, mass and time. Then there are some rules for uh, you know writing the symbols of units. So Number first rule is that symbols are not followed by full stop. That is if you write kg you do not put full stop after it that is wrong. Second is Symbols are not written in plural form. Right, which means ten kg is right form of writing, whereas ten kgs is a wrong form of writing. So this was all about your multiples of multiples and symbols. Do download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.